God for both of them. Amen. Yeah, yesterday, um, Corey sent a picture of, um, of their wedding. Um, actually, got married here at the church. They'll tell you that. They got married right here at the church. And um, so, yeah, come on, guys, in the front. Come on, the front. Come on, the front. Come on, the front. Yeah, act like y'all married. Act like y'all married. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. <laughs> it's okay, okay. It's already done. Seven years. All right. So, um, they're going to share this story. We're so happy for you guys. And we're happy for all of our, um, our marriage covenants here at New Life Christian Fellowship. But today, God wanted this today. And I don't know what he wants to say. We're so happy. All right. So we're gonna give it to the priest of the home first. Thank you, thank you, Andy. All right. So first of all, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone, you know, I'm know me the quiet type, but we definitely we have a story, you know. Um, it was exactly seven years to this day that we were married. Thank you, overseer. Thank you, Pastor D. Um, right here in this church on a Sunday, exactly seven years ago. Um, and it's been a, it's been seven years, you know. It's been, it's been a lot of good times. We definitely been happy, but I would say our first year was the roughest for us. Um, you know, you get married, you think you're gonna live happily ever after, you know. But um, we were young. I was 24. She was 25 at the time. And you know, as a young adult, you're still growing into yourself, you know, finding yourself. So, you know, we, it was rough that first year. Um, but what I've come to notice just maturing and over the years is that no couple lives happily ever after. Every marriage has issues. It's about how you respond. And, you know, that's one thing we built up was that just being being resilient. And, like, when things got tough, we would, like, really embrace each other and just, you about to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> we would really just embrace each other and follow God, like, that's the, that's the important part. <laughs> but, um, that's, that's one thing that me personally, I've, I've learned throughout this journey is that I don't have all the answers. My wife doesn't have all the answers, but God does. And, and as long as we stick together and just follow God, it'll be good. And you know, a lot of you know what we've been waiting for, and what we're expecting, and I, I appreciate all the love, um, all the people that reached out, just the conversation, just a hug. Sister Sharon, you get the best hug. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just a hug and just, just feeling that love from my family. And I know I don't speak much, but you, you guys really are family to me, and I love you all. Thank you. I was not expecting him to cry, so I'm going to keep myself together. Um, yes, seven years ago, I, I was talking to David on the ride here, saying how I think this is the first time that we were able to celebrate in church our anniversary and the place that our union happened. Like, we were literally standing right here in this place. Um, and, uh, wow, there's so much I would say, but... I want to keep this brief. Um, marriage is a choice. It's a choice, a daily choice. You know how the word says that his mercies are new every morning? Every day is a new day, and you have to choose your partner. You have to choose them, especially in this day and age, right, where everything is an option, even marriage. Like this is what, what the world will say. It's an option. You know, if it doesn't work out, you'll find somebody else. But here's the thing. You have to have the mindset of not, this is just an option. This is my only option. This is my only option. And, uh, you know, in your vows, you say through sickness and health and for better or worse. And it's important to truly embrace that. Um, we have had ups and downs. Again, everyone kind of knows our story. Um, but we have embraced each other through it. We have literally, instead of pulling away from each other, we have came closer together. Uh, another thing in the word, it says that two becomes one. We are one. You have to have one life, right? Now, respectively, you have to give each other that space to be who you are. 
right? We don't want to just sit there and try to be influencers and try to catch up with, you know, what other people are doing. You have to respectfully love each other as you are, but also build each other up to be your best self through God. This cannot happen, and I can say this right here, right now, this cannot happen without the Lord. This cannot happen without God. It cannot happen without having a faith, in the Lord, who is your foundation. That is truly where you learn how to live the rest of your life with one person, especially in this culture where it's not, you know, something that is really broadcasted, right? It's more of like, do what you want, be who you want, like just just do whatever. But truly, 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 if, uh, if you want a strong marriage, it, it starts with the Lord. Um, so I'm just grateful that we have weathered many storms together with the Lord. Um, I always say this, and I'm going to declare this in front of everybody, that David is the rock. He is the rock. <laughs> oh, Jesus is the rock, but David in this marriage is the rock. I, I'm not even kidding. Like uh, I'm like, you know, the waves going this way and that way, and he's like this anchor who really just grounds us back there has been times where I've just been in this place of just sorrow. And I'll look to him, and I'll be crying, and I'll be like, well, well, I don't know what to do. And he'll point me right to God. He'll say, go talk to God. Pray. And um, we've learned a lot. So I'm just thankful for the Lord. I'm thankful for you. Um, and I just, once again, for those who are about to get married, for those who are waiting to get married, for those who are married, it's about choosing your partner every day. Choose them. Choose your partner every day as if they're the only option because they are. Two become one, okay? And just just keep that keep that in your mind. All right. Amen. Love you.